Hi, I just wanted to give you an overview of uh, my um, line that I've put in to do my EV charging at home. Um, so I put in a, a 60 amp service um, on my um, breaker. My breaker um, panel itself is uh, serviced by um, an 100 amp uh, service. Um, even though um, I have an AC and a dryer which comes close to 50 amps to 60 amps, all I have left behind after that is just 40 amps. But um, um, I have made some changes in the um, in the configuration up at the Tesla uh, charger so that I would be drawing only 32 amps. Uh, so after the ESA inspection that I had today, I had a few comments is that uh, I had to make sure this was uh, labeled EV charging for slot 15 and 17. I had to staple down uh, the, the wire at uh, this location even though I have staples all over the place. Um, running this uh, wire across um, and using this wire was very very tedious. So if you are not handy I would draw, I would not uh, recommend uh, installing a 6.3 cable um, simply because the cable is so thick and very 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 hard to uh, maneuver. Um, so in that case I would say um, have an electrician do it for you or um, I think probably the 8.3 gauge cable um, would be uh, slightly thinner than this um, but I don't know so I haven't uh, seen an 8.3 cable but 6.3 was very very hard to work with um, it was so hard to even route it over my ceiling here on an unfinished basement um, so I'm just gonna go up to my um, uh, garage to show you the rest of the configuration and here's my lovely beautiful looking model 3 red uh, long range I just tinted this car today and I just love how it looks just beautiful and with the uh, 19 inch wheels uh, anyway back to my charger so uh, here's my new Tesla wall charger so I used a, a plywood to back it up and the wire basically comes from behind it so from where you saw the wire going in from the basement um, and uh, as per his comments I had to um, lower down the um, power setting down to 32 amps because I just have um, 100 amp service here and let me let me do this most important thing now this is ready for charging it just looks beautiful um, so one more thing you may have to think about while you're if you are planning through any of this sort of wiring is to make sure you have clamps wire clamps at the back to make sure the wire doesn't come off on this end and same thing on the other breaker end you need to have clamps that's gonna press these uh, cables in and make sure it doesn't move um, the uh, um, ESA inspector he did um, want to look at it I can assure him and he was pretty happy that I did do all that so um, anyway um, um, if, if you want to do it yourself um, um, uh, I would recommend this only if you are handy if you're not handy I would really uh, suggest that you go with an electrician I struggled a lot to install this um, this service and let's go and see um, the charge on my car now well, I, I don't have it powered on, but um, it does work and uh, it, it does charge nicely on this car. So I'm pretty happy with the results.